Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and happy Pride Month! We got Fire Island from Hulu, and I'm here to review it. And this is from director Andrew Ahn, and focuses on a adaptation of Pride and Prejudice taking place on Fire Island with a bunch of gay men, and things get saucy, things get exciting, things get fun, and all up until the last dance, this is a blast. And I had so much fun with this film, and really what brings it to life is the cast. You have Joel Kim Booster, who plays Noah, our main character, who's, I will not be chasing any men until I help my friend Howie, played by Bowen Yang, find somebody. And Howie has never been in a relationship, hasn't slept with anybody, and Noah's trying to be a good wingman, but this pesky man keeps getting his attention. Conrad Rickamora plays Will, who's the Mr. Darcy type of this story. And their back and forth, will they, won't they, is interesting, it's engaging. But really, Noah and Howie's friendship is a big anchoring point to this film, and I really enjoy that aspect. And then you have Aaron, played by Margaret Cho, who's kind of looking after all of them, is such a blast. And then you have the whole big, gay, and excitable crew there had just having a blast at Fire Island. And this group of friends is so much fun. These actors are really engaged. They're committed to these performances and bring so much life to these characters that it's just tons of fun being able to sit there and just live in this experience with all these men and just trying to have some fun. And Booster is the one who actually wrote this film as well and does a really great job of bringing a modern twist to this story and making it translatable into this, you know, this vacation story and also this gay love story. And there's a lot of love to go around. And, you know, of course, some of these characters are going to turn out to be jerks. There's going to be some kind of conflict. There'll be uh, sexual tension throughout. And I think On does a really great job of balancing those things while keeping a light, fun, and enjoyable tone for most of the film, but still offering up enough depth for you to care about these characters and to have a fun time with them, too. So trying to balance all those things could be a tall order, but this film makes it feel effortless. And that's nothing to say against the direction. It's something that just, you know, it feels so natural and just feels like there's such great energy and pacing to this film. I was hooked from start to finish. I had a blast with this. These characters bring so much life to the story and these actors really bring so much life to these characters. And without them and the direction here, this could be a very flat and just another remake of a classic story. But this is fresh, it's interesting, and it's something that you wouldn't expect to see from an adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. But they do something fun with it, unique and interesting. And it should be rewarded and accepted and praised for that. And I definitely had a blast with this. This is a great stream, especially timely, coming right out the beginning of Pride Month. So go show this film some love. It's definitely worth it. You'll have a fun time. But those are my thoughts on Fire Island. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.